Hello everyone, in this video I will show you the way how you can control master volume in your game with one simple script. In the previous video we created this simple scene with space background, a rocket and animated engine fire. I put a link to that video into the description so you can check out how it's done if you want to. Ok, now let's add a couple of game objects that will be playing music and sound effects in our scene. I create new empty game object and name it as music player. The second one will be sound effects player. It is a good practice to reset game object recently created, so I do it to those game objects. Ok, to play music, music player game object needs an audio source component. Here it is. And I add music clip into audio clip slot of this component. Now music will be played when I hit play button. Check in loop option to loop the music. And I add the same component to sound effects player. Audio clip that will be played is laser fire sound. You can find music and laser sound files by the link in the description. Laser sound also will be looped. Now if we hit play, then we can hear music and laser sound effects are playing. We can separately adjust music or sound effects volume by dragging their volume sliders. Like that. But what if we want to turn down or up the whole sound environment of the game? In this case we should refer to sound listener component. This component is usually attached to main camera. And the important fact is that we can have only one audio listener in the scene. But as you can see, audio listener doesn't have any options to adjust in the inspector. So all of its parameters should be controlled by some scripts. Here I created master volume script. Let's add it to main camera. Now we have a chance to adjust our master volume, dragging this slider. Let's take a look at this script. It's pretty simple. First line creates a slider in inspector with range of values from 0 to 1. Serialize field line makes master volume variable visible in the inspector. And here is master volume float variable itself, which is set to 1 initially. Then in update method, we just give volume parameter of audio listener a value of master volume variable, which we can adjust with the slider. Very simple. Now in play mode, we can control a volume of all sounds and music in this scene with just one slider. Like this. Also, you can create an UI slider and connect it with this master volume slider, so you will be able to control sounds volume inside the game and not just in the inspector. I have tutorial about it, so I will put a link to this video into the description. Ok, hope you liked this tutorial, thank you for watching, see you next time!